Okay, so here's your lesson on the respiratory system. You probably already know what the respiratory system does, but the main function of the system is to exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide between the blood and the atmosphere. So it's all about getting oxygen in to the blood and carbon dioxide essentially out of the blood. So the main parts that we're gonna talk about today are the lungs, the trachea, uh, the bronchi, the alveoli, and the diaphragm. So that's what we're gonna go into. So first of all, the trachea, also known as the windpipe, is the tube connecting your mouth or nose to your lungs. So this brings air in to your lung system. And there's cartilage rings around it as well in order to make sure that it is open, right? Just like a straw, if you actually squeeze the straw, then you can't get air through. Well, in the same way, we need to make sure that the trachea is reinforced um, so that air can continue to get through and it's not easily collapsed or crushed. So that's the reason for these cartilage rings around the trachea. Uh, and then from there, we have bronchi, which are tubes branching, uh, branching from the trachea. Okay, so once it branches the trachea into the bronchi, then we, um, you know, uh, kind of branches and then breaks again, branches again to the bronchioles. Um, so air is brought into the lungs via the bronchi, and then in the bronchioli, this is as I'm getting into smaller and smaller pieces. So essentially, trachea to bronchi is a branch, and then from there we go into smaller and smaller uh, kind of tubes, and that's the bronchioles, and that's in the lungs at that point. And that's tubes just branching from the bronchi, and they get narrow and narrower and narrower, and then they're leading to the alveoli which is kind of like actually where the gas exchange takes place. So really all we're talking about is narrowing of tubes and more and more tubes branching off. Almost just like a backwards or an upside down tree, right? Where uh, it goes to smaller and smaller branches all the time. And then the trachea would be the trunk of that tree. All right, so the alveoli is the site of gas exchange. This is actually where gas exchange occurs. So oxygen is going into the blood or the body and carbon dioxide is going out of the body. And the big thing is that we have a ton of blood vessels here, right, capillaries, where diffusion brings the gases in and out. So oxygen is going to go from the alveoli, these tiny, tiny sacs in the lungs to the bloodstream. Right, it's going to diffuse into the blood, while well, carbon dioxide is going to diffuse out of the blood into the alveoli. Now the alveoli, these sacs that are inside of the lungs, there's so many of them and it's all about increasing surface area. Just as we talked about with the small intestine, the same thing happens inside the lungs that all these teeny tiny sacs, right, all of these are the alveoli, these sacs all over the place. These fill up as you breathe in. So these are getting larger and larger, expanding like teeny, teeny, tiny balloons with the blood vessels, the capillaries all around these teeny, tiny balloons so that diffusion can occur. Now, if you were to actually uh, look at the surface area that's inside of your lungs, it's as big as a tennis court. So if you look at all of these teeny, tiny sacs, all these alveoli, they actually, the inside surface area is as big as a tennis court when you're breathing in. So that just shows you how much surface area is actually inside of your lungs due to these tiny little sacs. So capillaries surround alveoli for gas exchange to occur by diffusion. So here's my alveoli and we have CO2 going from the blood, the capillaries, into the alveoli and then of course we have oxygen um, going into the blood and then binding to the red blood cells and the hemoglobin. So O2 is going into the blood and CO2 is going out. And you've already learned about the circulatory system, yeah? So we have our pulmonary artery that's coming from the heart, okay? That's bringing all of the blood to the capillaries in the lungs for this gas transfer to occur. And then as it's going back to the heart, well, then that's your pulmonary vein. So here's just another diagram kind of again showing this. So we have our, um, you know, bronchioli here that from there splits into these uh, alveoli and then we have the capillaries, these very tiny blood vessels where diffusion occurs. So tons of blood vessels inside of the lungs, right? All around these tiny sacs of the alveoli. The very last thing to talk about is the diaphragm. The diaphragm is this thin muscle that sits at the base of the chest. It's shaped like a parachute um, and it separates the abdomen from the chest. Okay, so 
It's uh, basically separating like your chest cavity from your abdomen stomach cavity. Uh, it contracts and flattens when you inhale. So when you're actually breathing in, okay, it's actually contracting and you're essentially flexing that muscle at that time when you're inhaling in. And when you exhale, you're actually allowing your diaphragm to relax. So it's letting go and the air is being pushed out of your lungs as a result as you exhale. Okay, so that is inhaling and exhaling. So when you're pulling in, when you're inhaling, right, it is contracting. And when, when you're exhaling, then your diaphragm is actually kind of letting go and that muscle is relaxing as you let the air out and the air is pushed out of your lungs. And what's happening in the lungs? Well, that alveoli, those little kind of sacs in your lungs are basically forced closed. They're trapping, right? Then when you're breathing in, it's allowing it or giving it room to expand. So as a result, as your diaphragm actually contracts when you're inhaling, um, it's like opening up a balloon, okay? And air is sucked in as a result. And that's the act of breathing in. So let's take a look at a few blanks here and see if we can figure this out, uh, just kind of connections between the respiratory system and the circulatory system. So all of the cells in our body receive oxygen because the respiratory system and the circulatory system work together. They're very closely entwined. It's all about getting oxygen into your cells and carbon dioxide out. So where do the two systems meet? Well, the two systems actually meet up at the lungs. Right? That's where we actually have the connection between the respiratory system and the circulatory system, and specifically the alveoli. Respiratory system, this exchange is what and what. So what gases are exchanging? Well, we have oxygen ex exchange occurring, and then we also have carbon dioxide gas happening as well. So those two gases are being exchanged um, between the bloodstream and then the alveoli or the lungs. And then finally, blank system transport the gases throughout the body. That is, of course, the circulatory system. So once the gases make it into the blood, then the circulatory system and the blood is causing it to go all throughout the body so that your cells can get the oxygen they need and can get rid of the waste carbon dioxide that they no longer want, right, the waste. And then that's what you breathe out. All right, that was a very quick lesson on the respiratory system. Hopefully that makes sense. Bye for now.